Hello, YouTube family. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be talking about dupes. One of my very favorites, cheaper and better, Little Miss Everyday Heidi, she came up with this and I just think it is just a great idea to name a dupe video because there are some times when we like what the drugstore gives us better than we like what high-end gives us. And sometimes it's the formula, sometimes it's just the price, but it's cheaper and better and that's what I'm bringing you today. So if you like these kind of dupe videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you here if you wouldn't mind taking a minute and doing that okay the first one that I'm going to talk about and by the way I have done a little bit of this on each side of my face and I'm not gonna make you just guess but you can tell by looking at my face that it doesn't look like I have two different sets of makeup on this side we're going in with Milani and this is not a normal size this is one that I got in a little um, package that they were giving away when I ordered off of their website this is the romantic rose and these are just the rose blushes so this side we went in with that and on this side I went in with the Benefit Dandelion. These two are really, really similar in formula. Um, the formula is so close that honestly dipping into it, I think that it's really close to the same. I will say though that I feel like the Benefit one had to be built up a little bit more. So over here we have the Milani and over here is the Benefit one. And I do feel like as I was working with it, the Milani one went on um, just a little bit better. There is just a tiny, tiny hue difference here, but when you get it on the cheeks like now, there is no difference whatsoever on them. But if you buy a single of the dandelion, I'm going to throw those up on the screen, what the price difference is, it's quite a bit. So for me, that's a no-brainer. Um, I, I like the way that the Milani performs. It just looks a little bit better on my skin. The next one I actually already threw in a video and I did it last week. So I'm not going to take a lot of time on this, but you, and I will throw up a card so you guys can see what that video was but this is the new alter ego palette and the and the sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm going to just hold these up so you can see these are identical palettes you guys they perform exactly the same they are outrageously gorgeous on the eyes I think that I even liked the temptress palette a little bit more because it just seemed to blend a little bit better and it had a little bit less fallout as I was working with it but honestly I couldn't tell the difference if you just gave me two two down here and I didn't know what packaging they were in I would not be able to tell the difference in working with these so as far as that one goes it's an absolute this is 45 and this one is 16 so just wanted to throw that in here the next one is one that I feel really strongly about this one is so close I cannot tell a difference one bit when I try both of these on my skin and there is a little bit of a difference in color you can see that this one right here from it by the way this is the it by by pores and this is the elf translucent pressed powder okay so there is a little bit of a color difference you can see that the um, by by pores the it one has got a little bit of a creamy look to it and then this one just has a more white look to it but boy on the skin there is no difference there's no difference in the way they feel when I put them in between my fingers you guys this to me save your money because I do know that everybody loves it cosmetics but when I'm putting my finger in I almost feel like the elf is a little bit more fine so for me even though I like the it one and I've used it for years the elf one almost surpasses it because it just it just feels a little bit creamier and a little bit softer to me okay way back when the highlighting craze started Laura Geller did her Gilded Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Highlighter. And it was a metallic and it was a super metallic, you guys. It's just one of those that's like, hoo-wee, baby. It's so bright and so pretty. And on the cheeks, it's just gorgeous. She has a lot of other colors too. But then Maybelline came out with their Molten Gold. They basically duped this 100%. So there they are right there. You couldn't tell the difference if I didn't tell you which one it was. But this is the Laura Geller and that is the Molten Gold from from Maybelline, excuse me. There they are, they are so close you guys, but look at the huge pan you get compared to the Laura Geller and the price point is so much better. I personally do like the Maybelline formula a little bit better because again, it is a little bit softer. The Gilded Honey, I like the formula on it too, but again, because it's a baked product, it is a little bit stiffer, but 
you guys, when you get these on your cheeks, you really can't tell any difference. I do have several different colors of hers that the Maybelline ones match those. So if you're ever interested in knowing about those, I could maybe do a little comparison thing that I did maybe on Instagram or something for you guys. I think I've talked about this one in other videos, but I know I haven't thrown it in a dupe video before. Cover FX has their illuminating drops. They're so pretty. I just talked about this in being something that you might want to try if you don't like the texture that you get from powder highlighters, you might want to try a cream. This one is from Makeup Revolution. Now keep in mind, these aren't the same color, but if you walk in and you get a color that you like, I think these are something like 44 and I can't remember how much those are. They're like 10 maybe, but I want to show you how the same thing that they do. Look at the beam on that. They're the same exact one. And now if I didn't tell you right now, which one was the high end one and which one was the drugstore, would you be able to tell? So that one on the top right there, that's the cover FX. And then this one down here is the Makeup Revolution. You can shear these out as much as you want to. So they're not as bright and as high beam. And they're so good for people that struggle with texture. If you have been wanting to try the cover FX, but you don't want to spend that kind of money, I don't blame you because that's really expensive. But the Makeup Revolution is just as good. Okay, one more highlighter that I want to talk about is from Becca. Her Prismatic Amethyst is one of my very favorite highlighters that she has ever done. And it's because when you get it on your cheeks, you get this little flip of pink with a tiny bit of that um, iridescence of the amethyst in it. But the amethyst isn't overwhelming. This one right here from ColourPop, that is one of their Super Shock formulas, and this is called Hippo. These two, they look identical in the pan and they are identical when you get them on the hand too. So there they are right there. They're so close. So on the top, we have the Super Shock formula and then on the bottom right here, we have the Becca. This is to me the most dead on dupe I have ever seen. And even though I absolutely love the Amethyst one, I like the formula of the Super Shock better because it is the cream formula that just seems to work a little bit better on my aging skin and my dry skin. This so one to me is a definite cheaper but better one. And then these last couple are lipsticks. I really like Max Mac lipstick formula, but I really don't like the price tag of it. But right here, I have two. What do you guys think? Pretty darn close. This one right here is the Snob from MAC. And then this one on the other side is Primrose from Revlon. And they are so close. Again, blue pink. I love blue pink. I just think it is such a pretty color. So close on the formula as well. The formula on both of these are really creamy. It's not a matte formula. I love both of those. I I didn't even know that was there. I'm glad that I found it and I won't have to repurchase the Mac. And then again from Mac, this one is just a tiny bit off, but you guys, unperceptible when you actually get it on your lips. It just really shows the same color. This is Max Plum Dandy and it is right there. And then on the other side is Warm Me Up. These are two of my favorite colors. The difference that I think you're seeing more than anything is that the MAC one has kind of like a pearly sheen to it. And then this one is more along the lines of just a cream. So even though as I'm moving them like that, they look a little bit different. When I'm looking at them right here, they're really just exactly the same, except for one is a little bit of a sheen and the other one is a little bit of a cream. So really have liked using that one as well. And then my last dupe is right here. This one is from Clinique. This is called Plum Spice. And then this one from Revlon is called Plum Baby. And they are formula the same, color the same. They're so close to each other. This one is the old packaging from Clinique. I don't even know if they even have Plum Spice anymore. I hope that they do because that is one that I really like a lot. But now that I've found the dupe for it with Revlon, I'm pretty sure that I'll be okay if I don't find it again. I am absolutely in love with Revlon and Maybelline's lipsticks. I think that they're lush, they're high end, they, and they perform just like MAC, Urban Decay, Clinique, all of those do, and I just really love them. So I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Guys, do you have dupes that you know about that I should be trying and testing and then showing everybody here? I'd love to hear that from you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking a part of your day out and spending it with me. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.